Porsche is one of the most recognizable luxury brands on today's market and, judging by the growing sales, one of the most craved ones as well. Today, this German car maker has outgrown its solely sports legacy established by the iconic 911 and now offers vehicles of many shapes and sizes, with a growing number of electrified models as well. We'll explore the newcomers of 2020 by Porsche, digging deep into their technical specifications, prices and looks. So subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News not to miss the upcoming digests and let's start the engines! Porsche Taycan Ever since the release of the Mission E concept in 2015, we have been impatiently waiting for the first ever all-electric production Porsche to arrive to the market. This will finally happen in 2020, when the three new Taycan modifications will hit the assembly lines in Stuttgart. Depending on how deep your pockets are, you will be able to choose between the base Taycan 4S, available with the standard and Performance Plus batteries, the sportier Turbo and the top-of-the-line Turbo S. All of the cars get a dual-motor all-wheel drive system, overboost function and fast charging compatibility, being able to restore 75% of battery capacity in just 22 minutes. The 4S nets 435 horses or 530 in the overboost and sprints to 60 mph in just 4 seconds, while the $150,000 Turbo S bumps the power output to 625 or 761 horsepower respectively and cuts acceleration time by 1.2 seconds. Porsche Macan The standard trim of Porsche's compact crossover was refreshed for the 2019 model here, while the S and Turbo modifications had to wait their turn until the next year. Both are being enhanced visually and from the performance standpoint, drawing inspiration from the 911 Sports Coupe. The air intakes become larger, plus the sport design side skirts and mirrors are added. The engine's front is represented by a 3.0-liter turbo V6 on the S and a 2.9-liter twin-turbo V6, which is also present on the Cayenne and Panamera. These six cylinders make 354 and 440 horsepower respectively, channeled via 7-speed PDK with a manual shift mode to all four wheels. Among the standard performance enhancements, we should highlight active suspension management and a sport exhaust system. But there are also some must-have options, like the height-adjustable air suspension, torque vectoring plus and sport chrono package that speeds up acceleration to 60 by 0.2 seconds, resulting in 5.1 and 4.3 second sprints. Porsche 911 Speedster This model was first presented as a concept at the 2018 Paris Auto Show as a part of the celebration of the 70th anniversary since the first Porsche road car received its operating license. Now, the Speedster has finally reached production lines and will be built in the amount of 1,948, commemorating the year of the occasion. The newcomer was based on the 991 Carrera 4 Cabriolet, but engineers from Porsche Motorsports heavily modified this convertible and basically turned it into a road-legal Porsche GT3. This means that in the rear hides a 4.0-liter naturally aspirated flat 6, coupled with a 6-speed manual that make 510 horsepower and 339 pound-feet. This is good enough for 4.0 seconds 0 to 60 and incredible 194 miles per hour top speed. With a curb weight of 3,230 pounds, it is 200 pounds lighter than the Dorner car, since the hood, front fenders and the rear deck are made of carbon fiber. Porsche Cayenne Coupe Being a more dynamic and athletic version of the iconic SUV, the new Cayenne Coupe boasts an updated exterior design with a much sleeker roofline a more aggressive front fascia and adaptive rear spoiler. In 2020, the model is available in the same five trims as the standard one. The base that is priced at a staggering $8,500 premium over the SUV, plus e-hybrid, S, Turbo and Turbo S e-hybrid, that fortunately has the smallest price disparity of $2,500. Depending on the chosen powertrain, the coupe stop speed varies from 150 to 183 miles per hour, while 0 to 60 time differs by more than 2 seconds, from 5.7 for the base model to 3.6 seconds for the top hybrid one. 
Every KN Coupe starts off with an upgraded standard kit, including Porsche Active Suspension Management, Sport Chrono Package and either 20 or 21 inch wheels. Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 This flagship Cayman Coupe belongs to the model's fourth generation, but despite carrying the name of an iconic four-cylinder sports car, it comes powered by a naturally aspirated flat six boxer. The 4-liter mill is mated exclusively to a six-speed manual gearbox that drags 420 horses and 309 pound-feet to the rear wheels. Compared to the previous GT4, the 2020 Coupe nets 40 extra horses and generates 50% more downforce, becoming noticeably faster. Its 0 to 60 time stands at 4.2 seconds, while the top speed increases by 8 miles per hour to 188. The car's main exterior updates are focused on improving its aerodynamics. Double exhaust pipes make room for the new rear diffuser, and there is a reworked rear spoiler. In addition, the model has been announced to get a limited sports car edition that honors Porsche Sports Cup Germany and features new livery, wheels and matching brake calipers. Porsche 911 the seventh generation of 911, internally labeled as 991, has been on the market since 2012, so the arrival of the refresh has been highly anticipated and long overdue. It is finally happening in 2020, but since this family of sports cars has grown to include 24 variations, the full update will take some time. The first modifications of the 911 to transition into the 992 era are the standard Carrera, 4, S and 4S in both coupe and convertible body styles. Plus, the turbo models are rumored for a debut in spring. The standard engine shared across the range is a 3-liter twin-turbocharged flat 6 that makes 385 horsepower on the entry-level trims and 450 on the S iterations. The exterior design was reworked to underline the sports car breakthrough and performance. It is slightly longer, wider, and the entire body with the exception of the front and rear fascias is made of aluminum. The new 911s get driver's assistance tech, new 10.9-inch infotainment, and endless lists of performance upgrades. Porsche Panamera Panamera is one of those models that keeps sedan and wagon body style still relevant. Moreover, its latest design changes clearly distinguish it as a grand touring-oriented model within the Porsche's lineup. In 2019, the Panamera range has been joined by the mid-grade GTS modification that sits between the Panamera 4S and the Turbo. The Sports Turismo wagon gets the same treatment. Both are propelled by a powerful 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 with 460 horsepower output and all-wheel drive capability. The cars get standard 20-inch wheels, quad-tip sport exhaust and sport chrono package. The seating layout can be described as 4 plus 1 configuration, and the cabin is performed using Alcantara leather, carbon fiber, and aluminum interior finishing elements. If you're enjoying our format, do not be stingy for a like. Make sure to watch this video till the end and proceed to exploring our annual video digest about the upcoming current lineups of all automakers. Let's keep going! Porsche 718 Spider. Four years since the last Boxster Spider release, it is ready to return to the Porsche's 2020 lineup, dropping the Boxster part from its name. Now called the 718 Spider, it comes with a new suspension borrowed from 911 GT3 and a new engine. Thanks to having the same 420 horsepower 4 liter flat 6 under the hood, the convertible is equal to Cayman GT4 in terms of performance and gets from 0 to 60 in mere 4.2 seconds. The exterior of the open-top Porsche also gets an update in the form of a new front bumper with larger air intakes and a rear spoiler to retain traction at 187 mph maximum speed. In addition, the new 718 Spider's manual roof has an electronic release and can be folded into the trunk much easier. Porsche Cayenne 
The third generation Cayenne SUV premiered worldwide back in 2017, but we had to wait for almost two years for it to finally arrive to the American market. In 2019, the car was released in four guises, including the 455 horsepower strong e-hybrid, and starting from the next model here, the Cayenne is getting a more powerful PHV version named Turbo S e-hybrid. With a 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 and an electric motor at heart, the SUV has a system output of 680 horses and 664 pound-feet of torque, doubling the specifications of the base Cayenne. Running on electric power alone, it can cover around 20 miles, juiced by a 14.1 kWh battery. However, the efficiency is not the main purpose of the Porsche powertrain, as in reality, it turns the midsize into a track-capable machine, accelerating to 60 in 3.6 seconds and developing 183 mph top speed. Porsche 911 GT3 RSR Presented at the 2019 Goodwood Festival of Speed, the RSR has been defending the brand's reputation at the FIA World Endurance Championship. Since it is a racing-mandated auto, you won't notice a whole lot of differences between the newcomer and its 2017 predecessor. But if you were to trust the manufacturer, 95% of all parts and components are all new. Supposedly, only the headlights, brakes, pilot seat, the clutch and several suspension elements remain. The racer gets a revised rear mid-mounted 4.2-liter six-cylinder naturally aspirated boxer that produces 515 horses and is the biggest mill to ever be installed on the 911. Its power is transmitted to the rear wheels through the upgraded six-speed sequential gearbox. Finally, the new RSR is getting a revised livery for the first time and two different designs. The typical white-dominated number 91 and the reversed grey-dominated number 92. How do you like the revised Porsche lineup? Has this brand become even more desirable in your eyes? Share with us in the comment section. Just a reminder, this video is a part of our annual digest about new car lineups by the brands from all over the globe. So proceed to watching other episodes by clicking on the icons on the screen. Subscribe to Automotive Territory, like, share and come back soon.